prepared. I'm not anxious about it. How did what you in, in, anticipated your preseason opener being your first NBA game match? What the reality? Uh, honestly, when I first stepped out there, I was nothing but smiles. Uh, just to see how far I made it from everything that I've been through in my life. And uh, finally stepping on the NBA court with uh, NBA players. It was just like a dream come true moment for me. And uh, I just was out there just, just having fun, honestly. And then, how, I mean, you said all smiles. How'd you turn that off and turn into a competitor? Like mm -hmm. you were going downhill aggressive. Yeah. Did something flip? Uh, yeah, honestly, once I start getting my rhythm and my flow, I know like uh, once I get in that moment and that bag, it's like I, I feel as though nobody can stop me from getting to my spots where I want to get to. So, you know, coach kept telling me, keep attacking, keep going down here at them and, uh, you know, find the switches and keep creating. How much do you pride yourself on finishing through contact? Because you had a couple and ones and crazy angles that you finished yeah. with both hands, I believe. Uh, <laughs> I always say, you know, this just come from just playing basketball. Uh, playground basketball my whole life you know you just just get them type different instincts and, and different finishes and now you see it just comes so natural to me coach calls your name tells you to check in take me through your emotions and what you're telling yourself in your head at that time uh it really was a like I said dream come true just to you know just to see what my name was going to be called uh Felipe the, the strength coach told me I was going to go in at four and I was waiting at four, but then they went to like one minute 40. And I'm like, all right, okay, I'm going to just make whatever time work. You know, I'm the type of player. I, I'm not a selfish player. I'm just going to go out there and, you know, see what I can do and uh, make the, the most of my time. But, you know, when he called my name, it was just like, let's do it. You know, <laughs> you know, this is how I come out with the win, but we didn't. But uh, it feels like we, we got some, some great stuff to take away from the game. On that note, how comfortable did you feel out there? Extremely comfortable. Like beyond comfortable, honestly. Uh I always I believe I had a, a lead game uh, since I was younger. The space and, uh, you know, different reads that I can make with the space and different level of talent on the floor with me. I feel as though, like, I, I just always had a lead game, but I never had the, the great talent around me. So everything was crowded uh, on the collegiate level, on high school level. So now I feel as though now it's just unstoppable. Go ahead. That pass that you got from Faku. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> Crazy because... I know he's very passive to me, but I didn't know how he was going to pass it to me. <laughs> he passed it around the dude. That, that was Faku magic. <laughs> Bones, when you say you have a league game, do you mean, do you feel like you have another level to achieve that we, that was not apparent in college? Yes. Uh, I, I feel like I'm, I'm just now like scratching the surface. Uh, my ceiling is so high. You know, you see the, the, the stars in the league now. I know I can reach that potential. Uh, like I said, my ceiling is so high, and uh, you know, I just know what I can become. I noticed that you took off the headband. I think at halftime. Yeah, it was more so like uh, I can't do it no more. I really worry because I don't like how my hair is. So, and I'm like, I'm just wear headband, but nah, that's that that ain't me. Is is wild, busy, aggressive, busy with the with the braids, and the, let's do it. That busy. <laughs> Can I go Zoom? Yeah. All right, Derek. You got anybody on Zoom? We'll go Joel Rush for. Hey, Bones, congratulations on the good game. And uh, the point of emphasis of pushing the pace this season was stressed by Michael Malone and Media Day and stuff. Uh, is that something they've instructed you to do? Yes, uh, I know I'm quick. I know I'm, my first step is quick. And uh, I know what I can do with the ball in my hand. So, Coach Malone just always tell me just be uh, aggressive and always attack, you know, you know, attack all the bounce and, uh, you know, see what I can do. Uh, if I can get my shot off or I can just get past my defender. And uh, and even in transition, we, we running because I know last year it was they, they didn't run as much. And this year is, is much more point of emphasis, you know, get out on transition. And I know I can offer that. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. You're uh, you're still on mute there, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, we can't hear you. Sorry, man. We'll have to move on. <laughs> it comes back That's, to you. <laughs> That's it on our end, guys. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, Ryan, you are right. <laughs>